Time to get the strike, so they knew that. Now that's been hit well, that's been hit very, very firmly. So Pakistan with just this one wicket left with Naseem and Ralph. It's Naseem on strike. He has hit that beautifully. They're still in the game. Yeah, it's reminiscent of uh, that T20 game. T20 World Cup game between uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. Where Afghanistan was winning and Naseem Shah was the man who shattered the dreams. Yeah, I beg your pardon, it was Asia Cup. Ah, oh, someone is getting excited. It's okay. Yeah, that was Asia Cup. It was Naseem Shah. It was Fazal Faruqi. An almost similar situation. It's only this time that out of maximum, it's boundary that he's hit the first ball. Well, he misses that one. This time, Faruqi takes that little bit of pace off. Runs the fingers over the top of the ball. Yeah, is Nazim good enough to find a boundary again? That would solve the game. That would pretty much solve the game. Seven runs needed with just these four balls left. You get the feeling that Nazim wants to do it all by himself with Harris Ralph number 11 at the other end. So seven from four. The tension is just brilliant. This cue. They have to take the one. They can't turn the one down. So it means that Harris Ralph will get the strike. That was good bowling. Took up the pace on that occasion, the left armour, which has worked well for him. Earned him three wickets. Well, how often do you get the chance to redeem yourself? But for Pakistan, one maximum can seal the fate of this game. Mickey Arthur looking tensed. The Pakistan think tank looking tensed. The, the game has come down to the wire. This is such a wonderful finish. Well, so much on the line for the series itself. Uh, Afghanistan's record against Pakistan. So far in ODIs, Afghanistan have never beaten Pakistan. This is their best chance, but it's so, so close. Big hits. How far is that going to go? Is he going to find the goal? Oh, it's turned and Oh, the drama. One runs past it. The other one dies behind him. Was it going to be four? No, it was just tipped back inside the boundary. Three runs closer, Pakistan. Three runs closer. That's absolutely good feeling from the backup fielder, Nur Ahmad, on the, because he slipped initially and Nur Ahmad was behind him, had the awareness, stopped it, and one run can be really, really crucial at this stage of the game. Suddenly saves the boundary. Well, extraordinary events out there. First fielder overran it as the ball pitched and virtually turned. But Nora did spectacularly well. He just managed to find it inside the boundary, dived and grabbed it back in. Three from two to win the game. If the scores are tied, guess what? Super over. No, just a super over. Okay, it's not going to be that long, eh? <laughs> steady on, steady on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. I mean, again, they're taking their time, and this is what you have to do in these situations. Forget all the rules about time and the time available. But we're into the last over, we're into the last two balls. <laughs> Faruqi got greedy with the last delivery. He bought Seema from right at that pace to the batsman, to work with. Right, where's he going to aim? He's playing it long on, deep the wicket, deep to the leg, long off. Oh, it's gone through the gap, it's slipped. Afghanistan are frustrated. 